Now today we are going to solve a question from ellipse. The question is, an ellipse is given in the form of x minus x naught whole square by a square plus y minus y naught whole square by b square is equal to 1. So from this we can conclude that the major and minor axes are parallel to x axis because this is shifted ellipse is written. And one more thing is given that is a is greater than b that means it is flattened on x axis. Now it is given the ellipse is tangent to both x axis and y axis it is placed in the first quadrant. Let's say this is our ellipse and it's placed in the first quadrant tangent to x and y both axes. Let's say f1 and f2 be the two foci of an ellipse and o be the origin. Let's say this is o. Let me draw the major axis. Major axis will be parallel to x axis and minor axis will be parallel to y axis like this. And let's say these two are meeting at a point C. And it's given that the foci f1 and f2 are the foci of the ellipse. Now it's given that OF1 is less than OF2. That means F1 is nearer to the origin. Suppose a triangle OF1, F2 is formed. So let me draw a triangle here. So if you draw a triangle with OF1 and F2 like this, and I'm going to connect F1 and F2 like this. Now this triangle is an isosceles triangle, okay, and the angle OF1, F2 is 120 degree. That means this angle is given as 120 degree here. Now that means if it is isolated triangle, two of the sides will be equal and OF1 will be equal to F1, F2 obviously. Because OF1 and OF2 are not equal. That means OF1 is equal to F1, F2. Let's say the center of the ellipse is A, comma B. I'm taking from my side. Then automatically the coordinate of F1 becomes A minus A, comma B. That means if I draw a perpendicular here, here, and let's say this angle is theta. If this angle is theta, this is also theta. If this is also theta, then this also theta because interior opposite angle here. And these two lines are parallel x axis and major axis. This is also theta. If I want to write the coordinate of the foot of the perpendicular drawn from F1, the foot of the perpendicular coordinate will be a minus a here, comma zero. Now from here, I can say that if 120 is one of the angle of the triangle, that is O, F1, F2, then theta, theta, since it's an isosceles triangle, remaining two theta will be equal to, I think, 60 degree. And from here, theta, I can say that is equal to 30 degree. Now in this triangle, in triangle, O, F1, let's say this point is P point. So O, F1, P, here I'm going to apply tan to theta here. So tan to theta will be equal to Perpendicular is B as you can see and base is A minus A E here. So here theta is 30 degree. So in total we will get 10 60. This is 10 of 60 degree here. So 10 of 60 is root 3 and I am going to take A common here. So I will get this as 1 minus E here and that is equal to B. Now I am going to square on both sides. So I will get this as 3 A square multiplied by 1 minus E whole square is equal to B square. Now I am going to write this as here I am going to write this as 3 a square multiplied by 1 minus e whole square is equal to for ellipse I am writing b square as a square multiplied by 1 minus e square. It's very obvious. Now here a square and a square will cancel out. My objective is to calculate the eccentricity of the ellipse. That's why I am getting everything in the terms of e. Now I can write this as 3 times 1 minus e whole square is equal to 1 minus e multiplied by 1 plus e here. Now clearly I can see 1 minus e and 1 minus e will cancel out here because e cannot be equal to 1 because if eccentricity is 1 it will be a parabola and it's given that it's an ellipse. So it, eccentricity must be less than 1. So from here I got 3 multiplied by 1 minus e is equal to 1 plus e. So from here I can say 4 as you can see this you will get this as 3 minus 3e is equal to 1 plus e. And from here you can say 4e is equal to 2. That means eccentricity will be equal to half. And that will be our final answer.